Hello, I'm just taking the tomato in my greenhouse. I planted them in the middle of the January and now it's the middle of the middle of the March. It has a uh, two months has been to been passed and they are grow uh, so healthy and I look at the carefully the first tomato these tomatoes that they pollinated in, uh, two months ago and then now they have a base green that's here this here if they have a base green dark base green that's a sign of the uh, sweet tomato and also if I look down in the bottom there's a line from uh, top to the bottom that's also sign of the, these tomatoes are very very sweet one so I'm just gonna tell you how to get in the same shape of the tomato and right here so sometimes we get in a big tomatoes and the small tomatoes in the different the shape of the tomato and I'm going to explain it so okay let's go move to move to another spot hi I'm just taking uh, another spot right here and if, as you can see there are four tomatoes and their shape is almost the same and this is the reason because um, I pollinated when the the these four flowers were bloomed at the same time when I pollinated the flowers through bloom and four, four flowers through bloom at the same time that they can grow evenly and uh, nearly the same shape like this so this is the best example for my tomatoes that that's what I wanted to do it for uh, all of them if I look this three one is nearly the same this one is off, oh, it's alright. That one as well, because uh, they have a same shape and the same size tomato. That's exactly what I want. I mean, I want to grow it. That, that things I want to avoid it. Some of them are big and some of them are small ones. Let's have a look. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Here comes another, here comes another spot, as I told you. The, above the two tomatoes is really big. The bottom one, bottom ones, they are small. They because and there's a reason. Because I pollinated this tomato, only the two flowers bloom at the first time. And they start in a growing tomato. And a few days later, maybe four days later, I, I'm not sure. And after that, I pollinated this another flower two flowers and they start growing a tomato in a different uh, time and that makes uh, this tomato that makes uh, the difference because in uh, they were pollinated they were pollinated by the different time and they grow uh, differently and also big tomato is growing the bigger and the bigger small one they want they want to get a nutrition but uh, all of them goes to the big tomato and uh, this small tomato wouldn't go much uh, much bigger than this, this tomato so the best bet is uh, I have to put the tomato on I mean the pollination pollinate to pollinate it at the same time on a nice flower so I'm going to move the flower spot and I will explain all right Hello again, I just came to another spot. As you can see, there are five flowers right here. And the first one is, is big and already bloomed. And actually, the one thing we ha I have to um, care about is that this tomato is a not round shaped to flower. That means if I get this tom flower to, 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 as a tomato, the tomato is not a round one. So I want to get this flower to bloom and at the same time they are nearly bloomed as tomato. And the uh, first thing I need to do is put the tomato down right here. I mean uh, pollinate. And leave that these flowers three or four days and these flowers going to 
、uh, process to the growing to tomato. And after that, I take off these tomato s flowers, cut it off, and take off by hand. After that, these four, the left four, four flowers right here, the, usually they are going to bloom at the same time. So, If they bloom at the same time, four flowers, then I put to pollinate all the, these flowers. If I do that, so I can get the same shape tomatoes and the same shape around one as I show you the before in the movie. And also, another important thing is that this, if I look at this, this tomato is a, like a Perfect, perfect flower. Looks like a star and round in the center, as also this one is as well. Look at this. Round and the star shape. That is a, this kind of shape of those flowers goes a lovely and a round one. This one, if I look carefully, this is not. Look at this. It's not round one. That's tomato flowers goes to a unround unla tomatoes. So that's what, that's what I wanted to avoid it. So I just explained in how to get the、uh, same size of the tomato in a tomato plant. And I hope you enjoyed it. So if you have questions,、uh, please let me know. I, I hope to. I hope to Answer you that question.、Uh, I'm going to take off these flowers and the rest of them they bloomed the at the same time. So I'm going to put the tomato down like this and they are then、uh, pollinated already. Okay, let's have another flowers. Found another flowers, it's already bloomed at the same time. So I'm going to put the tomato down like this and it's done. And they are going to be tomatoes in a month. This, this one, this, and、uh, these tomato s flowers are already. I have put the tomato s ready, so I'm gonna show you later what's going to happen. Okay, bye bye.